Hey everyone, I'm Jonathan Lynch. Glad you can make it to the Honest Pantry. So let's get this fiesta started. All this month we're celebrating chicken and I'm bringing you along for the ride. No more borders, no more drama. These tacos are bringing everyone together. Chicken thighs, lots of citrus, Napa cabbage, tomatoes and avocados, olive oil, corn tortillas para niñas. When it comes to seasoning, sometimes salt and pepper just doesn't cut it. You gotta go to the marinade for the full flavor on this chicken. Start off with salt and pepper on your chicken. And whatever citrus you have lying around, throw it into this chicken. The more, the merrier. To get the most out of your citrus, give it a couple rolls first to really release some of the juices. Don't worry about the seeds getting into this chicken because you're not going to cook the seeds. You're gonna take the chicken out and throw it in the frying pan. So if you drop a couple seeds in there, it's all right. No one's gonna go home crying about it. <sighs> Once you're done squeezing all of your citrus juice, pour in a little bit of olive oil and throw it in your refrigerator and let it marinate up to two hours. When it comes to tacos, I'm all about texture. A little bit of soft, a little bit of crunchy. We're about to get both of those right now. If you're familiar with what an avocado is, which you shouldn't be, I'm gonna show you how to take one apart. Start by running your knife horizontally all around. Twist to expose the seed, and with a steady hand, strike the seed. Twist again, and out pops the seed. And you thought peeling an avocado was hard. My avocado brings all the girls to the yard and a little bit for me. My go-to recipe for anything avocado tomato is one to one. For every avocado, I like to use one tomato. Season with some salt, a touch of olive oil, and fresh cracked avocado. And your spread is complete. Moving on to our crunch element, Napa cabbage is the perfect accompaniment to any taco. It's got great flavor, but not too much to overpower the other ingredients in your taco. Simply take your knife and just start slicing. A taco a day keeps the border patrol at bay. <laughs> Get it? It's a joke. Now that our chicken has been bathing in citrus for the past two hours or so, it's time for it to hit the pan. Typically, we would add oil to prevent sticking, but since we marinated it, the oil is already in it. Simply take your chicken and place it away from you because this is a nice shirt and you don't want anything on it. To fully develop citrus euphoria, give your chicken three to four minutes on each side. As our chicken is continuing to cook, all the citrus that it just soaked in is reducing down and concentrating even more into this chicken. How simple is this? I swear, one of these days I'm gonna own a taco shop. It's like a lettuce and jellyfish. Mm, mm, mm. I definitely just hit citrus euphoria. Marinating this meat in citrus makes all the difference. Olay! Here's another weird fact about me. Every single taco that I eat, for some reason, the last bite has to be with hot sauce if it's not on it. I don't like hot sauce on any other part of the taco except for the last bite. It's weird, just go with me. I'm sorry, it's just the way I am. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for this episode. If you like what you saw, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, and in the comment section below, tell me your favorite brand of hot sauce. I'm Jonathan Lynch, we'll see you next Monday, and remember, your kitchen is never complete without the Honest Pantry.